Guys, Mike here, head trader at True Trading Group, and on April 5th, a uh, nice little day, guys. Good way to end the week, uh, two for two. Um, crazy move on this super cheap VTL. Guys, I usually do not trade stocks that are this cheap. Um, very rarely do I, but th this thing was just going so crazy this morning that, uh, and the volume was there. It had enough volume for me to get in and, and take a decent position. So I went after it and, um, caught a really nice trade on VTL, then made a little bit of money in this JMU. I'm going to walk you guys through those two trades. Um, I'm just really, you know, yesterday was a huge day with the Tesla trade and everything. And, and, um, I just wanted to come in today and, and just kind of keep it going and just build on top of, of the day I had yesterday. I didn't want to take too much risk, do anything crazy, you know, give back a chunk of what I did yesterday. So I just wanted to come in and just focus on hitting singles, doubles, um, not really focus on any home runs because yesterday was a home run, right? If you didn't see my video yesterday on the Tesla puts, it was a 426% gain on those put options on Tesla. Um, so I just wanted to come in today and just not, think of not think home run just think single 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 and and that's what i did and caught a single in jmu and and nailed you know a double a little bit more on vtl so was a good day was a good way to finish out the week so let's get to uh well jmu was my first trade so we'll start with jmu that was my first trade of the day so uh as we pan this over yeah i see jmu gaps up pushes off the bell pulls itself in and, you know, what really caught my attention here, guys, what really caught my attention was this candle right there. That candle is what caught my attention because when we pulled this in down to the 50 Fibonacci level, the trade line, this yellow line on my screen was coming up into play. And I had eyes on JMU, okay, right here when it was holding, okay, it was trying to hold this trade line level. And then we pierced it and immediately recovered it, immediately recovered it. OK, and then bang, we popped right up through VWAP. So right on this pop through VWAP, I got long right there on JMU. I'll take it to my trade announcements. OK, here you guys can see at 10.02, long JMU at 2.42. OK, so right, we popped through VWAP. We pulled back in. I grabbed some right on that pull in in front of VWAP. And then we started to make our little climb higher. Not a home run trade here, guys. I just started peeling some off 2.55. Okay, just a couple minutes later, I took some profit off at 255 right up here. Then later on, we push up here. What was the timestamp? 1018 at 262. So that's right there on the break through the high of the day. And then I held on to one. Oh, let me zoom in for you. Then I held on to one last piece. And you can see we ended up rolling it back over and I sold out the final piece at 249. So when we rolled it over and we broke down below VWAP, VWAP was my stop. So right there is where I exited the last piece, um, the last piece of that trade. So there's the entry, take profit one, take profit two, sold out that remaining piece. So like I said, not a home run, you know, just just a single, focusing on a single and and walked out away from that JMU trade with a, with a little profit, but nothing nothing to write to write home about. Next we got VTL. This thing was incredible. Um, it was incredible. Gapped up today and just exploded. Um, there's actually a lot of different patterns on VTL that I'm going to cover with you. I'm not just going to cover with you my trade, which I will cover with you, but I want to show you some other setups before we get into that. So here you guys can see right off the bell, we gap up and rip. Real nice, strong, steady, increasing volume, and then we pull it back in. When I draw up my Fibonacci retracement level, from the previous day's close up to the current high. You got to go from the previous day's close, guys. If there's a big gap up like this, you got to go from the previous day's close. You don't go from that low, okay? You go from that from that previous day's close when you have a gap up. If there's no gap up, then you go from low to high, okay? But there's a gap up, you go from the previous day's close. So what we see is on the pullback, we pull in where? Right to the 38.2 Fibonacci level. And right at that level, you also had the trade line and VWAP coming together. And then you finally got a trade line VWAP crossover right there. And then you can see, bang, trade line VWAP crossover ignites a move up new high of the day. And then look at this support level on this trade line. Are you kidding me? I mean, it doesn't get much more perfect than that. So your pullback into 
the 38.2 Fib level, trade line crosses over VWAP, and then the stock just never looks back. Just an absolutely ridiculous run. And I didn't trade any of this. I didn't catch any of that move. Okay. Um, I would just, you know, I, I don't trade usually 30 cent stocks. It's just usually not what I do, but because they usually don't have the volume for me to take part in it. So I watched this, th this move. I watched that move. But what I started to notice at this point, guys, was we just broke through a nice little area of resistance. Okay. And when I take you guys to the daily chart, okay, and you see, let me pan over. Because uh, of the gap down, you can't see it. Well, guys, uh, you can see it a little bit here. So here you can see the re this resistance at like 43 cents, right? When I go into the back to the intraday chart, okay, you guys can see that after we broke through that 43 cent level, you can see here's the breakout, okay? That's when we finally started to really open up. You can see the the range on these candles are nice, tight, 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 tight. And then finally, once we got through that resistance level, you see how the stock opens up. And when the stock opened up like that, we had huge volume pouring. It was the heaviest volume the stock had traded, okay, on that surge. So what I looked for at that point was I said to myself, okay, now let's redraw our Fibonacci retracement levels. Okay. And what I start to notice here is that a previous high, which is right there, okay, there's your previous high. And you can see once that previous high was broken, that's when we, oh, that's when we really extended, and that's when you got, you know, this this increase and this rush in volume as we surged through that high. So when you see that such a strong volume surge through the high of the day like that, the chances of that previous high holding support increases. So I was looking to see is there another level that lines up at that high and boom there it is a 382 Fibonacci level. So right there guys on that pullback I got long bang right there. It was a sick sick entry. Here you guys can see at 1104 long VTL at 4879. Okay? 4879 is where I grabbed this VTL. Okay? A little right there. A little higher okay there it is there's the entry point and now I'm looking to take profit off in front of the high of the day you guys can see here at about 20 minutes after my entry I took some off at 57 okay so right here took some off at 57 then back to my trade announcements you can see I took the bulk of my position off at 63 on the new high of the day right there Okay, so now there's my first take profit, my second take profit, and I was holding on looking for like a little bit of an extension. What up, really guys, I got a little greedy with this, but I thought we were going to get into get right here. I know my chart is is tough to see right now, but this is a gap entry of 75 cents. And I thought we were going to get up and test that 75 cent gap entry, but we got to 70 and then rolled it over, double topped, and then now the stock has since pulled in. So I held on to one last piece looking for um, 75. I was going to probably get flat around 72, 73. And I got a little greedy with it. So we hit 70, pulled back in. And then I just, I just banged out of the rest right there at 60. Take you back to my chair now. So you guys can see final take profit at, um, 60 cents. All right. But it was a nice day. It was, it was a really nice trade. And, and that was such a nice pickup on that pullback. You know, I just waited, waited, waited. You know, I said, okay, there's that volume. There's the break at 38, two lined up with that previous high. We got the pulling bang, get long. Take profit, take profit, take profit. It was a nice trade. This was a really, really nice trade. A lot of people in chat caught this too. It was a really nice trade. All right. So that's it, guys. You know, that's it. Two trades for me, two wins today. Um, that's all it took. And um, it's a good way to finish the week. Um, was really an awesome week. Uh, apps, really an awesome week. And not just, not just with me, just in, in chat in general. Um, the other moderators, Alex, Jay, uh, Jason, Toner, um, all had big weeks and we all trade different things, options and swing trades and small caps. And I mean, um, it was a really fun week to be in chat uh, this week. So I hope to, to maybe see some of the YouTube community next week. Teach you Tuesday. Don't forget on Tuesday, I open the chat room up free to everyone. Um, just go to www.truetradinggroup.com. Upper right hand corner, you'll see a link. It says TTG Tuesday. Click that register and you will get a link that will give you access to my chat room for free.
Okay. So I hope to see you guys on Tuesday. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you guys next week.